up, what's up, Kabasa. Well, this is Afro John. Y'all know how I am on this about doing videos, and I'm not. I'm just kind of winding down on some of my videos I'm doing. I'm not doing like I used to. If you notice on some of my videos, but I've been realizing a lot of things, man. I've been busting, like realizing I've been busting my ass on these videos for so long, man. And I had people tell, ask me, it's like Afro Joe. I want to do videos like you. And I tell them, I said, man, you got to pick what you want to talk about. They say, well, I don't know how, what to talk about, what to put out there. I say, look, man, check out my videos. Take notes. If you want to do a video like I do, take notes. And what, you, and what I tell you and what you study from my videos, man, it puts your notes to work. Because one thing is, one thing is, I bust my ass for so long on these videos trying to bring y'all the best of shit. Since I got me the count, I've been bringing you evidence on certain things, certain things that needs to happen. I'm going to tell you, and I always told people, watch what you say and do on the internet. And a lot of people don't pick that up. I don't care if you think I'm full of shit. But it's like this, though. It's like this. I ran into an LV person. And, uh, and she was on a sex site, Cam Fuse. And I told him it's being my video. And, I, and, I, and one thing was, I ran into her. I told people, it's like, you watch what you say and do. And I asked the girl, it's like, I went off in the room, and I knew who she was, she knew who I was. And I was like, you watch my video. Uh, I said, you watch my video? She said, yeah, I watch your videos. If you watch my videos, they ought to tell you something that... I always say watch what you say and do in my, in my videos and to me it's like this if you watch my videos you ought to know watch what you say and do but people don't listen I'm like they, they don't hear me out they don't pay attention if you watch my videos you know what I'm talking about I've always got people saying, watch what you saying. I always tell people, watch what you saying, do. Watch what you saying, do. Over the internet, because you don't know what's going to happen. Because the internet can be your smoking gun. And people sit there and they keep on and they keep on and they act like I ain't say shit. And I say, look, man, keep watching. Watch what you saying, do. Watch what you saying, do. You don't know who's on the other side of the screen. You don't know who the fuck that is. And. And they overlook what I uh, and I tell people after after they overlook what I got to say, man, I'm sitting there looking at these people. I'm sitting up there trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out why. Why don't y'all ever pay attention to me? Why don't y'all ever? Why? Why do y'all overlook me? I was breaking it down what I do in my videos. And I was like, I told people what all this and that. And it's like, oh, they're overlooking you. But when they, like, they overlook what you're saying. But when the incident happens, when the inc incident happens, now they realize what you're saying. No, it's like this. Heed my warnings. Pay attention to what I got to say. Because one thing is, you might be the next person, might lose a loved one or might lose your life because one thing is man these people that you say that they're your friends over the internet might be your enemy you just don't know look what happened to me look what happened to others the last video I did about cyberbullying people didn't hear me out over the years I've been saying watch what the fuck you saying and doing and I look and I sit there Then I 
it's like, okay, these people died, these kids are dead, but people still overlook what the fuck I got to say. Why, why overlook what I got to say? And it never makes no sense, man, because I've sat there and told many people, told him in my videos, what you're saying, dude, there's pedophiles here, there's pedophiles there, don't overlook what I'm saying, pay attention, wake up, man, look what's going on. No, they too damn busy. Oh, uh, fuck you, Afro Joe, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're a dumbass, you're a dumbass. Huh? If I'm a dumbass, why them fucking kids are dead? Why, am I, why them fucking kids dead? Oh, they don't know. Look, there's no excuses. And a lot of people, somebody asked, one of my friends asked me, he's like, well, if they don't, if they don't turn off the, why don't these people turn off the computer if they don't want the drama? And I told her, I gave her a straight answer, because somebody told me the same thing and I'm about to tell you it's like oh the reason why they don't turn it off is because they love the drama you know what I thought and I was like okay that's right they love the drama one thing is it's like me if I want drama in my life I watch all my children general hospital or as the world turn I don't need to come on the damn internet and get fucking drama thrown in my face I can sit there and watch this shit on TV but hey, it's the same thing on TV, but hey, Afro Joe is dumb fuck. But it's like this, y'all. Wake up and realize what you're doing over the internet because you might be the next one to go. And people don't realize that, hey, man, your life. And, uh, and it's like this, man. Watch what you say. Pay close attention to what you're doing over the internet because one thing is, it might be your last. You don't know because you're too damn busy picking a motherfucking fight. And it's bad enough. I told people, and I, in the video I did about the cyberbullying. Hey, said adults do the cyberbullying too. I'm not shitting you. You go to these chat sites, there are gonna be adults. Gonna be adults doing that. They're gonna be cyberbullying. I'm sitting there scratching my head and shaking it. And I was like, hold on. You tell your kids to watch out over the damn internet. You're trying to sit there and you see all the warning signs that, oh, this might happen. But why the fuck you doing it yourself? But people don't realize that. I'm wondering, I'm wondering in my mind, I said, what's up with these people? I'm more confused as ever. But they see somebody, some kid that, oh, they be like, oh, I'm so sorry. And they start boohooing themselves. Like, you could have saved this child if you would have heard me out. Would have hear me out and realize what the fuck I was saying was all real, all true. These are the warning signs. Chat sites, number one, that's one warning. Two, kids on the chat site, that's the second warning. Three, admins, they don't give a flying fuck, so does the owner. That's three. Third, the third root is owners and admins on chat site don't give a fuck if you die or not. They care about that money. Your death is like a dollar to their pockets. They don't care. Number four. It's the people who's on it. You gotta be conscious on who you talk to over there on the internet. Because one thing is, like I said, you don't know who's on the other end of that computer. Because so many people think, oh, that's my best friend. That's who I like. Oh, he cool. I've been knowing him for a few weeks, a few months. No, a few weeks and a few months ain't shit. A few years, yeah, you know that person. Don't get that shit confused. Don't sit there and try to do this internet shaking up. I know, I, don't, I didn't say I didn't believe in it. I said I just not, don't get into it. Because one thing is, knowing a person for a few months can get you fucked up. But knowing them for a few years might get you something good. So you gotta button, you gotta look at the pros and cons of life. Pros and cons of the internet. That's how it is. Look at the pros, look at the cons. Pros, the good shit. Oh, you know, in a few years, you get something good out of it. If you know what the fuck you're doing, you're going to live a longer time. Three, if you protect your family and give them the warning signs, they live a good one. Limit your time on the internet. Get you somewhere. 
know what sites to go on and you stay away from the bullshit. The cons, people don't give a fuck about you. Ambience and owners of trash site definitely don't give a flying fuck about you. Third one, hey, this grown up cyberbullying too, not just kids. Four, you don't know who the fuck you talking to on the other side of the screen. Five, your life is more important than that damn internet. And that's how it is. This is Afro Joe, aka the Wookie. If you like what I got to say, man, write a comment, a good comment, or a video response on this, and tell me what you think, and holler at me. I don't need none of that neg negative shit, man. If you got something negative to say, keep it to yourself, or shut the fuck up. And I'm about, and that's how it is. Peace, and I'm about a motherfucking hair grease.